Hello students, today we are here to discuss the story Madam Rides the Bus which is written by a Tamil writer Wali Kanan. The story is in CBSC class 10 English. Before we begin, I just want to ask you, have you ever travelled? I'm sure you must have. Journeys are always interesting and it fascinates each one of us. If we recall that what all do we enjoy on a journey, the answer will surely be the scenery, the greenery, the mountains, the lakes and everything that is around us, isn't it? So the story is about an 8 years old girl, Wali, who wants to explore the world outside her village. She lives near a bus stop and as she has no friends to play with, so she keeps standing near the doorway of her house and watch the people on the street. She is so fascinated by a bus ride that she develops a desire to go on a bus ride herself. So she started collecting all the information about the timing of the bus from the neighbors, how much fare does it take for that bus ride. So when she got to know that the fare was 30 pesa for one way, she started reducing her expenses so that she can save enough money for the two-way fare. She had to resist her temptation of candy, peppermint and merry-go-round. So one fine afternoon, when her mother was fast asleep, she slipped out of the house as per her plan. She waited for the bus and as soon as the bus came, she told the conductor that she wants to go to the town. The conductor was amazed to see such a small girl act like an adult. He called her madam and showed her her seat. On her journey, she enjoyed the mountains, the green field, palm trees. While on her journey, she did not want anybody's help and wanted to feel independent. Each time someone would poke their nose in her business, Wali would get annoyed as she did not consider herself a child anymore. She wanted to be free and enjoy it. She did not want it to be friends with an elderly lady who was worried about her because she thought she was not socially capable enough. Wali enjoyed every bit of her journey and she was also careful not to get off the bus. She was finally on the bus ride that she was desiring for so long. On her way, she saw a young cow that came in front of the bus while crossing the road. Wali found this scenario quite funny. All these incidents fascinated her. It was like a dream come true for her. As the bus reached its destination, all the passengers got down. The conductor asked Wali to get down, but she told him that she was there just for the bus ride. She wanted to enjoy that bus ride. The conductor smiled at her innocence. While returning back to her village, she saw the same cow dead by the roadside, which made her heart cry. Wali got terrified at the fact that how a creature so full of life can instantly turn into something horrible. She sat down silently for the rest of the journey. Upon reaching home, she found her mother and aunt talking about the endless possibilities of the world outside. Wali affirmed to what her mother was saying, leaving both of them astonished. She then justified her reaction by mentioning that she was casually agreeing to her. Her aunt then referred to Wali as a no-spoking child who acts like a grown-up lady. But only Wali knew what she was referring to. After all, no one knew about her bus journey.